Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Tillman from Michigan DNR. I'm coming to you today from my own backyard. How many of you feed birds in your backyard like I do? How many of you clean your feeders once a month? Oh, it's my responsibility to keep my feeders clean to protect the birds that I love. So the first thing you gotta do is get a rake and rake away the old seed, seed hull from the base of your feeder. Get them out of the way, scatter them into a space behind the feeder and just clean that area up the best you can. Next comes the washing of the actual feeder. And this may require taking the feeder apart like I've done with this one here. So when you start to wash your feeder, we recommend you wear gloves. Now, rubber gloves, uh, dish gloves are still available in the stores. Or you can use a pair of washable work gloves. And you're going to want to put your feeder, after you've taken the different parts apart, uh, and shook, shook out all the old seed and the res as much residue as you can, you're going to want to put that feeder in a bucket or a solution of antibacterial soap and water. Hot water works good. Get it in there, let it soak for about 10 minutes. Once the feeder is soaked, you can take a variety of different types of brushes, bottle brushes work good, and try to scrub and get those tight places in there. Another tool that works really well is an old toothbrush. It's always great to have a few of these around. Take your old toothbrush and then you can get in those really tight corners to clean that up. Now, be sure you throw away that old toothbrush when you're done, because nobody wants to use that again. Okay, so once your feeder is gotten scrubbed, then you're gonna put it into a solution of bleach. Now, you're gonna wanna use hot water for your bleach solution, and you're gonna wanna be careful with the bleach because it can stain your clothes. But if you use a ratio of one part bleach to nine parts water, that will disinfect your bird feeder, getting rid of all the bacteria and viruses that can build up from multiple birds visiting the feeder. So you're gonna soak it for 10 minutes in that bleach solution. Now the one part bleach to nine parts water, often people ask me, well, what does that mean? Well, what it means is, for instance, one cup measurement of bleach and the nine parts would be nine cups of water. Now you can use a variety of other measuring tools, but that gives you an idea of what that means. So once your feeder has soaked in the bleach solution for 10 minutes, then you're going to want to rinse it thoroughly. And we're going to go over here to the hose and we are going to rinse it. Now a good rule is to rinse it for 10 minutes. And you're just going to want to thoroughly get in there all the pit places and get that bleach rinsed out. Now once that feeder has been thoroughly rinsed, you can set it in a sunny place and let the sun dry it. Okay. Let that feeder dry in the sun thoroughly, and then once it is thoroughly dry, you can refill it with seed and put it in your bird feeding area. Okay, everyone, we recommend you clean those feeders once a month, and while you're home, practicing social distancing is a great time to get your feeders clean. So let's all get a little spring cleaning done, everyone.